How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another video on the channel. Now I haven't uploaded for like a week now. I went to Germany, Gamescom, got to say an amazing experience. Everyone I met, very, very friendly. They were great. They, they welcomed me. I, I met new faces. I met old faces. Zwei back. But um, I met everyone, lads. And um, yeah, it was just great catching up with everyone. And uh, going to the event, I was on Facebook game and uh, on their live stream, of course, on the stage and stuff like that. A bit nerve wracking, but we did get through. And of course, I played FIFA 19. FIFA 19 a lot of times at the event. And today, we're going to tell you my kind of experience of on the game. And um, one thing in particular, time finishing, and today we will cover time finishing. I'm going to do a couple of videos kind of covering certain aspects of the game. That's a kind of did notice that changed the game dramatically. And the first one is time finishing. So lads, if you do enjoy this video, you know what to do. Smash a like and it straight away. Let's aim for like a thousand likes. Who knows, lads? Who bloody knows? you got to aim high, right? But um, let's aim for that. And if we can smash it, that would be great. So time finishing... What is it? You guys know, low driven and last one was double tap B. That has now changed. It is L1 or R1 or LB and RB and shoot. So it's kind of harder to do the low driven shot. Whilst the time finishing is double tap B. You power it up, basically, you press the button like you do for a normal short, and then you press B, and the B kind of releases that at an angle. You can see kind of bars that go like that. Now, if you've got the trainer on, it will show you that bar, but if you don't, it's got the cursor above your head, and it's like a triangle. If it lights up green, you've hit the time shot perfectly, but if it goes red, you've um, you missed it, basically, and your time shot will kind of skewer, and it'll go skew if, and it'll go anywhere. But um, if you do get it right, boy, oh boy, do you get it right. It's got some amazing goals this game. And if you get it wrong, it goes dramatically wrong. You've seen that miss there, an open goal. That was done on a live stream, by the way. And I know the quality isn't that great because it's not an HD because I picked it up off the live stream. So uh, I do apologize for that. But as you can see, Tobias or Bateson, I'm not too sure which one it was, missed that chance because of time finishing. So uh, that kind of brings in the kind of aspect that if you panic in a pressure situation, uh, that was the last kick of the game, lads. The last, uh, well, head of the game. But if you panic in those positions and you're dying to double tap really fast or you spam the button, uh, you'll miss your chance. So you need to be composed on this game. Uh, and it adds that kind of, um, I don't know, that skill gap where if you panic and you do this, you do that, you do, you're do you going to miss the ball. You're going to miss a chance. And it will go down as a oh, serious miss, lads. Where if you do get it right, you get it right and it will fly in the back of the net. So in terms of time finishing, you need to get it right. It depends with players, depending upon their finishing stat, their, their possible shot power, their finishing, and their long shot stats. Those kind of three stats in particular. So it depends on that for the time finishing. If like, um, I don't know, the finishing is low, say like 25. I'm talking about you, man, alas. And uh, you go for a time finish. You're not really going to get it right because it will be very, very hard to get that kind of counter right in the middle and hit the time finish perfectly. Again, if you've got the trainer on. Also, by the way, lads, you can knock time finishing off. There is an option where you can kind of not have time finishing. I went through this and I knocked it off and just try to experience the game just shooting and stuff like that. It wasn't great. Time finishing is a new mechanic. It's a new kind of gameplay feature and it works. It really does. So if you get it right, um, it works. But if you don't want it on what, what's, like whatsoever or anything like that, you don't want this time finishing, you don't want a new experience or anything like that, just knock it off, lads. It is very simple to do. Just go to the settings and time finishing will be there. Just knock it off. You just slide it to off. So uh, that is simple to do. So time finishing for me is a game changer. And it literally is a game changer. It, it changes the game because it is that good. So in terms of um, when you do get it right, there's more power. There's more precision. And there's more accuracy upon the strike. Meaning that if you hit a long range shot on the volley, I found this out as well. On the volleys, they are very, very overpowered in terms of the time finishing. And normally they will fly in the back of the net because they are that OP on the game. So I found that out like almost instantaneously. I did some bicycle kick time finishes and they are very, very overpowered on this game. Whereas the long shots and stuff like that, they are just normal. And uh, headers as well, you've seen Tobias miss, I'm going to blame Tobias by the way, you've seen him miss that time finish chance in the 90th minute from the header, and it just wasn't very good. But in terms of time finishing, is this good for the game? Is it bad for the game? I reckon it's good for the game. If you learn this and you learn it and you practice and practice and practice, you're going to get it right and you're going to score some amazing goals on this game. Whereas if you don't put the time in, you don't put the practice in, and you miss the time finishes or don't have it on whatsoever, you're going to miss a lot of chances on this game and it's not going to be great. And it will go down as uh, something that, I don't know, kind of a skill gap on this game. Whereas if the, if the top players, the pros, get it right, 
They're gonna be the top players on this game. If the pros get it wrong, they're not even gonna turn up to events. That's just the pros. The casual, you need to put the practice in to get right at this game in terms of the time finishing anyways. And lads, I think I'm gonna leave the other aspects for another video. So in terms of other videos, I could look at the players, I could look at the reigns, I could look at anything, lads. So if you want me to kind of show any kind of video upon FIFA 19, let me know in the comment section below. Again, apologize for kind of um, the 360p gameplay, but again, until I get the HD copy, I can't really do too much of it right now, but I just wanted to say thank you for your support while I was at Gamescom, of course, no videos are on the channel, but now I'm back, there's going to be loads of videos, I can't wait to start on FIFA 19, it's going to be so damn good, I mean, from what I've played at Gamescom, that's a much better build than the likes of the beta, the... I don't, I don't know if there's going to be a demo, it's, it's better than the demo, the demo, it's, what is the demo for, I'm not saying it's better than the demo because we haven't had the demo yet, but the gameplay games come, phenomenal, I loved it, especially head to head, in terms of player versus player, in terms against the CPU, it's kind of boring, but again, you do get that against the CPU in every single game, whereas sales like me Nep or me Tobias, or me versus Bits and, and Tobias, um, it was very, very good, very challenging and very methodical in terms of the gameplay. It's very tactical. This game is very, very tactical. Lads, that's something we can talk about in another video because that's going to be it for this one. If you have enjoyed the return, what am I doing with my wrist? If you have enjoyed, lads, smash the like button on this video. I'm back from Gamescom. I'm back from Germany. I love the experience. I will go again. And um, yeah, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.